just gave you the game to start your content will eventually take off you have to be persistent you have to want it you have to Yo, welcome back to the podcast. We got a dope episode today. Today, we're going to talk about the top things to do in 2024 to monetize and level up your content. Ooh. I like this. And DC has a lot of knowledge on this. I mean, I've been building my brand for a couple of years, but DC really, really knows the 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 ins and he has the advice. Yeah. This. Uh, like how much have you, like, before we start, how much have you invested, like, time-wise and like money if you want to talk about that into like learning about this about how to get better i mean to level up content and you know what comes with it yeah as far as time man, it's a lot of time has gone into it over the years um i started getting into content probably like 15 years ago no, probably like 12 years ago okay um my brother and a lot of friends started doing youtube it started off a, a college uh unlv he was in the film program my brother and they asked him to do like some short films so then he would just post them on YouTube, and then we did like a parody one day. My brother's like, yo, I wrote out a parody, and I, I, and I all you got to do is just be in it or something like that, and then the joint took off. And I was like, oh, dang, like, there's no money in it, even though it got millions of views. Mm -hmm. But then once he figured out the partnerships and the monetization and how to reach more people to get you more views, like, the money started coming in. So I was like, all right, cool. But at the time, my daughter was young. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I got to go to work. So I walked away from everything content. And then pre-COVID, I just started, you know, serving at my church, actually. So I started okay. doing film and camera and all that. And I was like, yo, I'm getting back into this. So then I paid, you know, I probably, equipment-wise, I'm over 10 grand for sure. Okay. Like that's This was just, just like equipment. last year, right? Yeah, last year. And then as far as like courses, I'm probably at like, I want to say it's like four grand. For like the courses that I've took, mm. um, or the or should I say courses and coaching program, okay, just to be able to learn more. Yep, and then that's not including all the like free stuff that was out there that I was just binging. So now I feel like I have the tools. Right, last year was learning it. This year is applying it. So now let's talk about the strategies that we're going to get into. Right, what yeah. was your strategy? And I'll bounce right back off of that. So your strategy was what was it? Post like crazy. Yeah, when I first started back in uh, twenty nine, like during COVID, like I was just, I didn't. The thing is, I didn't have no knowledge how to do it. I just had an iPhone. Okay, I didn't know about. I didn't even know that you have, there's there's audio. I didn't know there's edited involved. I didn't know that there's ways to you know structure your video to make it go viral if you can. Yeah. So what I did, I just started off. I would just make if i show you my first video like i said from then till now it's it's crazy how the the growth and the progression goes but when i first started i would just start putting out i would put out i only started on tiktok i didn't start on facebook i didn't start on instagram youtube none of that i, I should have did all that. that's one thing i want to tell you guys if you guys are just starting out you want to le level up your content quick you want to post on every single social media platform out there that's just some game that this guy gave me back in the day that changed my whole everything. But anyway, back to me is that, yeah, I start, I post probably two to three videos a day. Just ra just wow. regular drink videos. Just in, I started doing that. And then I, I guess I started enjoying to do it. And I started seeing, I just get a little following. And then I started doing them. I just kept doing them every day and it kept getting better. Well, I thought was better, which I look back now is not because I didn't really have no, no game. But anyway, <laughs> I just started posting a lot, and then one day I had a video go viral, and then you once you get that viral, you want to keep going, and then basically it just led to that and kept going and led to where I'm at today, which I do stuff totally different now, but when I was starting off, not knowing what I was doing, I was just putting out content, but the thing is you can put out content, but you have to be different, okay? You have, you have to be different from everybody else. Everybody can make the same cocktail, but what makes you different from everybody else, okay? You got a whole bunch of people that are the same. Well, I don't want that. I want the guy who's different or the girl who's different, the person who's different. You do stuff like that, then you go farther. Yeah, 100%. And that's why people are going to watch you and they like you for you. That's just one way. That, that's when I first started. Yeah, 100%. I do feel like just to piggyback off that is like being set apart doesn't necessarily mean go off the wall, but it means to showcase your personality in a way where they feel comfortable and they identify with you. 
right? Definitely. Because now they're like, yo, this guy's cool. He's bringing value. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just tune into his videos. And I'm going to hit a like every once in a while. I'm going to hit a comment. This dude's funny, Mm -hmm. right? Humor sells. And people will buy you before they buy the product you're selling. For sure. That's why people like, when you like like a person, you like them for them, not for the product. Yeah, for sure. Like one of the coaching programs, like I know the person, I knew his knowledge. I knew there was a lot of value in it. But I knew him as a person, and I'm like, yo, like, this, I, I've this dude's filmed me before. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, this guy's been in it for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and 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 what I was told is like, you're not investing in him. You're investing in yourself because the return is gonna be greater than the money you put in. So everything's yeah. everything's a return on investment. Yep. So when it comes to content, you gotta say you gotta say to yourself, hey, what am I going to do this year to continue to grow? Number one, you want to keep at least. 10 videos in the chamber. Definitely. Because life gets busy and you ain't got time to film. You ain't got time to think. Number two, you can batch film. Yep. Half the people don't even batch film. But I feel when it comes to batch filming, you're able to... Explain what batch film is for the people. It's basically like if you're doing talking headshots, you're going to do about 10 of them in one day. See? Right? And then, so that's number one. Number two is you're going to start a podcast or you're going to join a podcast. Mm-hmm. Because now off of that, you have another 10 to 15 videos that you can use. Just out of that little 30 to 40 minute episode film. And people don't get it. Like, that's the thing. Is that's great. That's a great point right there. You can get so many little reels just out of one 40 minute video. Yeah. And that would save your, that would save you a lot of time just from filming like you said if you're busy oh let me cut up a reel real quick or have them just have them ready in the chamber yeah it's all you always got to stay ahead of the game uh yeah and then also man like a lot a lot of people stumble when it comes to the editing part i know because i'm an editor it's very hard right but you're good you're really good you got some crazy looking videos bro that's the thing before he gets on his edits like he invested in this and this actually paid off like a lot of people go to college like, they just go to college to go to college. Well, I went to college. But they don't get a degree where they can make, like, a, they can make legit money or they, they learn something. Like him, he actually enjoys doing this. So he, he learned it. I mean, he yeah, he went, he took the classes, got all his knowledge up. And now he's I'm telling you, you guys check out his videos. The editing is crazy. Now look at him now. He's got how many people you got going for you? That I edit for yeah. What well, event depends on part of like a like a Facebook group, mm-hmm. and like there was a company out there. I won't say it, but they're like, hey, I need a quick thirty second reel. You know, it's all short form. Break the how much can you get paid for? Just give these people if you guys just listen. How much can you get for a little? If you want to edit for a good sized company, what can you make? Uh, if you get on a retainer, it's different. But like, if they just say, hey, I need this done real quick, you can charge two fifty. Quick two fifty, take them what? Yeah, but a lot of people don't. This is the thing, though, is like you have to know your worth and your value. So you got to be fine with them going with someone else because mm-hmm. they're half the price. Well, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. Never sell yourself short. Yeah. Remember so that. I, I'm okay with short. that, though. Like, you know, but I don't just bring editing. I bring a strategy. I bring, like, hey, like, I bring value to the professional. Table. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I can edit your video and not talk to you, or I can edit your video and tell you, hey, let's tell the story. This is how we're going to tell the story. And this is how you're going to hook it. This is how you're going to get people in because anyone can edit a video, but not anyone can hook the right audience. So before I cut you off, how did you get into editing? What um, made you like want to be? I want to edit videos. You know what, my brother. How did like, you learn about it? My brother's super dope at editing. Okay. Um, he used to teach editing class, and he was always done it. And recently, when someone said, "Hey, can you manage my profile for me on social media?" I'm like, I'm the type of person I'm gonna say yes, even if I don't know how to do it, and I'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. And there, I was like, yeah, I'll do it. So he's like, all right, I'm going to send you, you know, three reels a week for you to edit for me. Okay. And I was like, dang, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it. So I call my brother. I said, yo, I need editing tips. He's like, I got you. No, hold on. Wait, my bad. That's not true. I started a YouTube channel for my daughter. Ooh, yes. And, and I told my brother, hey, I need the basics on editing. He goes, here's the basics. Here's your how you're going to do it. Boom, boom, boom. And I learned off my daughter's channel. And she only had a channel for like six months. And we were monetized. But she didn't like the fame, so that's another story. We could shut it down. And then I had another friend's like, hey, I really need a social media manager. I need someone who's going to come in and just run my page for me because I don't got time to film, edit, or do anything. Mm. So I was like, all right, I'll do it. So then I just started putting the clips together. He goes, that looks good. Let's rock with it. He killed and it. Yeah. Then I just, as as I went, I started growing. Then I started doing more projects and doing for more people. Did um, 
some stuff for companies or whatever. And and to be honest with you, like the one thing I was always told, like if I came and I was like, yo, I was like, I'm not that good of an editor. Like the client doesn't know that. Mm -hmm. They only know that you're gonna edit the video. And take Nobody away asks. Time. Yeah, they don't because they don't want to do it. Yeah, it's, it's buying back time. I'd rather pay him, you know, two hundred dollars to edit a five minute YouTube video, two hundred fifty dollars, whatever people charge, and they're gonna be like, I'd rather pay him that. I just had a call the other day, bro. It took me four hours to edit this video, sixteen oh. minutes long. I said, mm, we gotta go back and restructure your filming. Yeah, that way your editing takes a lot less. So you got to plan out your shot list and everything. But I feel like when it comes to content, hire an editor. And if you don't want to hire an editor, film videos that don't demand editing. Gotcha. Like how, much, how much editing are you doing on yours? Like, I'm just cutting. Click, 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 That's click. it. I'm not. There's no There's no crazy. There's not. There's one camera straight on on a yeah. tripod. Boom, boom. That's all I need. I don't need for what I do. I, that's That works for me. It's been working for me. And I don't, yeah. I don't really need anything else. I don't think you need anything else either. So it's working. So the thing is, like he's saying, editing, like you got, and the thing is you have to invest. If you want to level your content up, you have to invest. Yeah. You have to get new equipment. It just, he, it's equipment, it's courses, it's whatever. Just think if you believe in yourself, don't be afraid to invest because you will get that back times five when you reach the place you want to be. Trust me, there's a lot, I always say it. There's a lot of money to be made on social media. And I'm telling you right now, I've done it. I've done it. I could probably be making more than I am right now. You should be making double what you're making. I should be making double. You know, that's why I'm trying to level up my knowledge. Hey, how can I do this? And you're going to need a team. Eventually, you will need a team. Yeah. Well, he said to edit and a few other things, but eventually, I think strategy, you're going to need a team because you can only get yourself to a certain place. You can only get yourself to a certain place. Eventually, you're going to have mental burnout. Yeah. You're going to be like, dang, what do I need to do? So it's always good to have people there. People that answer your emails. Like, there's a lot that goes behind this. People think that, hey, don't turn on the camera and film, and I'm going to make 50000 a month. It's not going to happen. It just doesn't happen like that. It can happen. But well, you're gonna, it's going to take you a few years to get there. It will happen. Yeah. I've had months where I almost hit 50. Yeah. And look at I was just... And then the, it's just, it's everybody's journey is different. Like we were just talking about editing. Some people have some crazy edit. I'm just straight on chop, 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 chop. Yeah, but I do stuff different. You got, The thing about me is I do things different than the yeah. uh, normal bartender. And I'm not scared to, to, like I say this all the time, I don't care what anybody thinks about me or says about me in the comments. It does not break me. It does not even bother me. Okay, the only people that matter is the people in my house and my little circle, and that's it. But anyway, so we got editing. I said invest. We said a few other things. Yeah. What was the first two? Consistency was one. You keep posting three times a day. Yeah. Um, and uh, of course, did we say that? Uh, knowledge. Knowledge up. And invest in equipment. Editing, investing. Okay, so what else we got? One of the biggest ones. You ready? Yeah. Because I struggle with it. Limiting beliefs. <sighs> You mentally create a barrier that you feel like you can't climb over. So when it comes, but to why though? It's a, it's it's a mind game, man. It's is it that you don't want to be on a camera? Is it you think yeah. what people are gonna think about you? What is it? Explain to the people. I want to hear this because it's I, hard. To you have all record. this knowledge, bro, and I just don't get why. Like, is you just buckle? Like people break or they? Yeah. Do? It's hard to press that record button and to have to take it, film it, take it downstairs, edit it yourself, do all that, and to then post it, to then just get that 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 bang like maybe i didn't say this right maybe i didn't do this right i'm just gonna take it down i keep running into a wall because that imposter syndrome kicks in so I it's guess, not it's not what people think about you it's yourself you're talking to me like yeah, you, don't, you times, doubt yourself yeah a lot of times you're you are your biggest critic you are the reason why you're failing but i think like some of the like it's crazy because you never know what video is gonna go you don't like i put out some of the i thought it was my best video ever went nowhere I put out just a BS video and it went crazy. I don't, it's just, it's not, that's why you should always just, if you film it and you shoot it, you never backtrack. Okay, I'm going to put this out. So for the next video, let me do this a little different. Yeah. The thing that you're doubting on this video, all right, so, because you already put the work into that video. Why put an hour, two, three hours and yeah. then just, all right, you know, I don't believe in it, so it's not going to go nowhere. Like, just let it go. You just never know. It might it might not take off the first day. It might take off the third day. Sometimes it takes off the third month. Right. 
so you're like wait this video's taking off like right that. so don't i mean yeah we all have doubts but i think you know you you go to the next video don't don't think about the last video don't look in the rear view take down all your rear view mirrors yeah. don't look in the rear view just look forward yeah i think that will help out too especially with you you have yeah. good stuff like you just yeah everybody's putting out strategy content and all that so i'm just like i don't like i'm good i'll just here come here shoot a podcast and one of the main reasons i want to shoot a podcast because i'm learning how to set up how to tear down how to edit podcasts so now guess what i got another tool now i could be a podcast manager to do everything you basically dc sets this whole thing up yeah so my thing i just like, do the little table and the my he, he hooks i can tell you right now i i'm telling you right now if he was like bro set this thing up and it's sad to say i don't even know how to set this up i have this equipment sitting in my house yeah that just shows you like see if i had the knowledge which next time he comes i want to learn in case there's one day i want to sit here and just shoot a podcast which i think you should right and just start you know doing this and okay Boom, 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 in case DC somewhere. But yeah, see, that's me slipping right there because I'm comfortable. Yeah. Never get too comfortable. You can never, you can always, you can always learn more and always want to learn more. So I think this little conversation, it just having me, you know what? I want to see how you do it next time. Yeah. And we can go through that. But yeah, as far as the content goes, man, one thing that stuck to me, uh, one of my good, you know, one of my boys said was, don't create content, be the content. Because you want people to know you and see you for you to brand yourself, right? Because now you're not, I'm going to go out and do a prank video. You're not being the content. The prank is being the content. For sure. But if you get out and let people know who you are and invite them into your life and and just almost just be an open book, right? That's more like a vlog. Yeah. There's different, different content. Yeah, but, there's vloggers. There's con. I mean, there's different types of content. Yeah, but you're being the content in your videos because even though you're creating drinks, you're. Nah, 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 nah. Well, you gotta have a. And that's another. You gotta have a catchphrase. Yeah. What about the catchphrase you gave me? Do you remember? On the video, like you, you should do a uh, a drink video doing like you know unique cocktails. What was like, it? Remember the booze. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy told me you should call yourself the boozy bartender. He's the, we were trying to figure it out. We've been brainstorming for years because we were, you know, we had some some conversation. Yeah, the boozy bartender. Yeah, he's like, no, I just think that you got to be different. Like, yeah. I scream next. Yeah. You know, I don't, I mean, that's why a lot of people think I'm crazy or they like it or they hate it. But it gets traction. You got to know how to get comments. That's another thing people don't know about letting up your content. Yeah. You have to get the people to talk. Okay. You get the people to talk, they start pushing you more. Yep. Algorithm. And, you know, and so there's so many things that come within leveling up your content that we are discuss. There's more that we could discuss about that. Oh, we could probably go and do an hour long podcast easily. But I feel like what we talked about so far, there might be one or two more things we talk about. And that's pretty much what you guys, you guys can use that to start out yeah. and see like where it takes, give them a couple more. What else well, we got? Another one like that you don't realize you did is that when you yell next, I can relate. Why? Because when I was working in fast paced environment oh. bartending, what do we used to yell every time? Next. Hey, Next, Every time somebody stiffs us. Next, yep. You know, boom, bring them on. We got to burn through it. We yep. got to burn yep. through the line. And Mine is re it relates to to the to the service industry. Yeah, to so the bar industry. industry has been there. Like they know, like how many times we didn't yell next. Just next, or you get frustrated. You just want to scream it, but you can't. The way I scream it, but yeah. yeah. And there's times where I'd be like, next. And people are like, oh, you know LVB? What? Nah, like, this is a slogan we've been using for years. We've been he doing it. I just made it. Yeah, yeah. we've been saying next made it for years. Own. we all been saying it, but I did it different. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's thing. Um, you just got to be different. But he said you ain't got to be, like, crazy different. But yeah. just be a little different. And then... And you got to provide value, though. That's what I feel like. like well, I still teach people. You got to yeah. teach the person. He's right. You can meet them, but you got to still teach them how to do stuff. Yeah. Like they can watch you. Oh, he's funny. But after a while, all right, whatever. Yeah. Can he teach me how to? I'm here. I want to learn this this drink, or I want to learn how to 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 build this, or I want to learn how to level this up. People they watch you because they want to learn something too. Yeah, because otherwise you're just posting just to post. Yeah, and that's and I'm gonna tell you something right now. Once you guys get on, I said post two to three in the beginning, but once you start moving, you don't have to post too much. Don't post too much content. Because that's when people start hitting the unfollow. Yep. Or they, they start losing interest. Yep. You know, I'm guilty of it. Sometimes I'll still post, you know, one, I two. I six in one day. When? Huh? Come it was on. last year. 
I was like, bro, you really hit six in one day? Was it? Yeah, bro. I'll Maybe be- I was trying to hit like another milestone. No, you were trying but- to hit a bonus, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonus. Yeah. yeah. Like, nah, nah, I'm trying. I got to hit this bonus. Now I'm just one a day, sometimes twice, but it just depends. On- or every other day because you get burnt out. Like, there's like, they get. You don't want to go too crazy once you make it to a certain point. Yeah, don't obsess, keep it fresh. Don't obsess over the views and the virality. For sure, because you're not always going to go viral. You're not always going to hit a million views. It's just how it is. They're not going to push you every time. I'm, I'm just telling you right now, don't get your hopes up. Don't think I'm going viral every time because you're not. I got millions of followers on social media. I don't go viral every time. Nope. I'm just being honest with you. It's not going to happen to... It doesn't happen to everybody. Yep. Unless you're like... Who knows? Mr. Beast. Yeah, Mr. Beast. There's only a few of them that are always viral. Yeah. But, you know, just you got to, in persistence, you got to be dedicated to it. There's a, I mean, it depends how bad you want to be, to level up and, and make it. Yeah. Because I believe if you really want to do it and you put the work in, the results will come. Yeah. It's not Check just going to be handed to you. Check this out. Before we head out, AI is probably going to be taking over a lot of content what is it uh, see ai explain to people what that is all right i can grab your video well artificial intelligence yeah, yeah i can grab your video your your little reels that you do and remake them in 40 different languages so now my content is reaching 40 different language type of people you know what i mean yeah that's so crazy for example like if i'm selling a product let's say i'm selling shoes mm-hmm. right just figuratively speaking i'm not only attacking you know, people that speak English, I'm attacking people that speak Spanish, you know. German, yeah, German French. Russian, you know, Tagalog, like whatever yep, yep, yep. it is that you speak. Like chances are Chinese, I can provide that product in the sense where you look at it and you're like, oh, shoot. Like, what is this? Right? So that's that's AI, bro. AI can make That's somebody you. doing that, though, and taking your content and making money off you? Or are you no. doing this yourself? They, there are softwares out there where you download your video and it literally makes it seem like you're speaking Yo, check this out. This is crazy real quick before we head off. I can film myself, mm-hmm. right? And then do all this right here. They got all my thing. And they'll make the video for me. Full AI what? where I ain't even in the video. So I can pump out and check this out. AI, I'm going to get a script. They're yep. going to create the script. I'm going to upload it. They're going to use a different voice, use my face and my stuff, and create a video for me. Wow. So I can literally push out 30 videos a day if I want it. Just doing that. Yeah, just providing value. Ooh, that's gonna that might change the game. Yeah, that will change the game. I mean, it's growing, but it's the stuff I've learned to date is crazy, bro. Like I've learned social media strategies off that. Like And how did he learn this? Because he he's 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 investing, like I said, he's investing his time. He's taking time to level up. And see, and that just shows you. I <laughs> I don't even know about that. Yeah. I'm just being well, honest I'm, with you. I'm going to send you a video in Spanish of you. Watch. <laughs> see? Well, I just learned something on my own show. Our own show. He just taught me something. Yeah. That I had no idea. But I've heard about it, but I didn't know it was like that. Yeah. So we'll run them down. Let's, let's break it down. So what we do? What was the first one? I don't even know Consistency? Anymore. Consistency, equipment. Um, Editing. Strategy. Well, basically, yeah, you guys know everything. We ain't got to go back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? There's a lot of game little quick free game how to level up your content and how to make more money yeah there's a lot of money on social media i made it dc's Wait, making next, it ne- yo we'll, so what we'll do is since we talked about how to do it this session next session we'll do different ways to monetize yeah there are different ways there's yeah. a lot of ways to monetize. Yeah, yeah. so we'll show I like you, that yeah we'll show you like probably like the top four ways this is to start that, you out yeah, this is just for you to get your content going. The get, next get your job. content going, and you will, you know, they don't know, but you got to get a certain amount of watch hours, certain amount of followers to get yeah. to get monetized. You just don't get monetized. You got to earn it. Yep. People have to be watching your video for a certain amount of time. Yep. But we do it. Yep. And you can't you, just do it once. Sorry, you can't just do it once a week or twice a week. It's never gonna go nowhere. <clears throat> I'm being honest with you. Yep. You post once a week, it's going nowhere. And if you're a ball, small business struggling with that, reach out to us. We'll give you some guidance. We got all that. DM us. Yeah. Yeah, man. Good episode. Definitely. I like it. Uh, follow, sounds like, good. subscribe, share with somebody. For sure. And comment what tip you like the best. Yeah. Sounds good to me. We're out. Okay. Next.